In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the sparkline function in Google Sheets. What the sparkline function does is it allows you to create a miniature chart inside of a single cell. So this is pretty useful um, for creating a quick visualization of your data. Um, it's a pretty easy function to use after you know the ins and outs of it. And just having a visualization with your data can make, make it easier to understand your data and to notice trends. Um, so with the, with the uh, sparkline function, there's four different types of charts you can create. There's a line chart, bar chart, column chart, and a win-loss chart. So you have a few different options depending on how you want your data to display. Um, the basic syntax of this function um, is sparkline and then the first argument is just going to be the data which is the range or array that contains the data that you want to plot on the chart and then there's a ton of different options that controls um, different customization settings on the chart um, one of the most important options that you can use is the chart type option um, which you can set the chart to either line bar column or win loss so here's some examples of the function used um, with some different options. Um, so this first one is just sparkline and then the range. And then the only option I am doing is to set it to a bar chart type. So um, to do any options, your entire options field has to be wrapped in these curly brackets. And then the options come in pairs. So this first option is the chart type option and the chart type is bar. Um, so then we have the second example. Again, the entire options argument is wrapped in these curly brackets here. And everything is in pairs. And each pair has to be separated by a semicolon. So I have two options in this formula. My first option is chart type comma bar and then semicolon and then max value comma 100 and then this is another formula where I have it set to a column uh, chart type so this um, this formula has three options in it the entire thing is wrapped in curly brackets and again each option comes in pairs each pair has to be separated by a semicolon so here's the first option, chart type, column, semicolon. Second option is going to be axis, false. Third option, axis color, blue. So everything is separated by semicolons, and the entire thing is wrapped in curly brackets. That's pretty much the most important thing with the syntax. If you can get that down, um, you'll be well on your way to using this function. So by default, if you do not specify a chart type, it's going to automatically be set to the line chart type. Um, so let's go through some of the chart types now and look at um, how they're used. So in this data, I have, um, I have this daily revenue numbers and I have a basic sparkline function in here um, just with the range of the data. So you can see it created this little line chart in here and since uh, the default chart type is line I did not specify any options so the available options that you can choose for your chart depend on the chart type so line chart types have different options that you can apply to them than bar chart types for example so with the line chart type here are the options that you can choose you can choose X min, X max, Y min, Y max, color, empty, not a number, right to left, and line width. Um, I'm not going to go over the different options in too much detail. If you want to read more about that, um, you can click a link that I will place in the description of this video that will lead to my website um, where I kind of explain each one. Um, but that's pretty much it for the line chart type next one I'm going to look at is the bar chart type so the bar chart type so in this formula I have each cell 
has its own um, bar chart essentially. So I'm just putting in um, the cell reference that contains the data and then my options here are chart type bar and I have a max option so this will just display um, the maximum value that can display in the cell. So you can see each value has its own chart and with this you can quickly kind of see uh, the trend in the data which makes it easier to understand than just looking at numbers. So with bar chart types you have these options that you can add in. You can add in max, color one, color two, empty, not a number, or right to left. Uh, the next kind of chart that you can choose is a column chart. So this is a simple column chart type. Um, in this example, I have my range in here with my data. I set it to column chart type, and then I have a custom color of blue just so that these columns display blue. Um, so that is what a column chart type will look like. And these are the options you have with a column chart type. You can choose color, low color, high color, first color, last color, negative color, empty, not a number, axis, axis color, Y min, Y max, right to left. And the last kind of chart type you can use with the spark Latin function is win loss. So what the win loss chart type does is no matter how um, how high and low your numbers are, the height of the columns is going to be the same. This kind of chart type is just interested in negative and positive numbers. So it's an, if it's a negative number, it's going to show up here on the bottom. If it's a positive number, it's going to show up here on the top. Um, so you can see which ones are negative, positive, negative, positive, positive, positive. Um, so with this function, I just have in here the range that contains my data. I have the chart type option, setting it to win loss. And then I have this custom option in here, this low color, and I set it to red, just so you can see what the lowest value um, from my data is. Um, and that is what a win loss chart is. You have the same options for customization with the win loss chart type as you do for the column chart type, which is color, low color, high color, first color, last color, negative color, empty, not a number, axis, axis color, Y min, Y max, right to left. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I just wanted to give you a brief intro to the sparkline function, how to use it, and show you some of the different charts you can make with it. Um, if you really want to learn this, what I recommend is you click the link to my website and you go through the examples um, a little bit slower and you just try to recreate each of the chart types in your own data. It's really not that hard to use um, once you get a little bit of experience with it. Um, the key thing is just getting that syntax down. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.